Let's go. You lead the way. Where are we headed? Towards a net zero future, of course. Cleaner water, more electricity, a sustainable society. That's the destination we've set ourselves. This, we know. Yes, we know exactly where we're going, but we need to get there quicker. So, let's build on the progress we've already made by working and walking together. With the right partners, tools and ideas, we'll become an unstoppable force. This, we know. Right now, there are businesses who are putting technology and sustainability at the heart of everything they do. Brave leaders turning maybes into realities and building something better for everyone. Now is the time to look to the future and reinvent ourselves today, empowering others to do the same tomorrow. Yes, we know what the future holds and we know how to get there. So let's take charge of the journey today. Welcome everyone. School board meeting. Hello. Hi. Spithio, access in any language. Welcome, everyone, to Chicago's Curie High School from the United States of America. I am your moderator and Curie alumni, Rashada Dewan, and it is here where we celebrate healing lives through the arts. Please enjoy our talented artists as we celebrate T4 education. Drop all your questions and comments in the chat, and don't forget to use the hashtag WorldEDUWeek. Thank <laughs> you. 
New Orleans, but I 
I never saw the good side of the city till I used to ride on the river boat queen. Big wheel keep on turning, brown Mary keep on burning. They were rolling, rolling, rolling down the river. They were rolling, rolling, rolling down the river. Say do 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 do. Welcome back, everybody. We are at the questions portion of our presentation. Are there any questions in the chat? Not yet. All right, first question. How do the arts support sustainability in creating healthy lives? Well, uh, I believe that the arts, number one, create help create a community. Um, with the teamwork uh, that allows the students in the school systems to work together in creating productions, um, learning, not just learning the art form, but working together as a team. It's, it's one of the biggest propon proponents in teamwork for students. Um, so I think the arts really provide a real world experience for students to um, engage and learn through live performances. It's, it's very essential. And I just want to piggyback a little bit on what uh, Mike Gallagher just said. And one of the things we're big on at Curie is social emotional learning. So with a team effort, right away, the students begin to work together and they collaborate, uh, right brain and left brain. And students begin to feel good about what they do in all subjects. I got a question. Could you tell us more about why you chose the arts as a means of developing your students? And then how do the arts enhance students' achievement? Enhance students. So I'll start on that. Hi, everyone. Um, quality education celebrates the arts. And we're looking at imagination and creativity. It's really, really important. These are very important skills these days. So it's not just going to school and, and taking just the basic classes, but we like students' voices. We really, we really want to celebrate those voices and help. The arts also help students contextualize ideas. They promote reflection and revision and also along with imagination and creativity. So each child can be celebrated for what they bring. What does healthy lives mean? What does healthy lives mean mean to you and your school? Healthy lives in the school. First of all, it means a couple of things. One, physically healthy. Let's just deal with that for a minute. Uh, and especially in, in dance. It's amazing that dance is not simply dance, but it may begin with stretching and longevity in general. So it promotes, hopefully, health physically, not just doing school, but once the student has graduated, hopefully they will continue with the stretcher, with the movement. Uh, movement is life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and definitely uh, to add to that mentally, um, there's just something about when you're learning an instrument or when you're going through the process of, uh, of learning an art form or performing art, especially um, you're just you, it takes you to a different space it helps students get a break from their their different as Jacoby said the left and right brain thinking um, they're able to exercise and fully develop their thoughts and it gives them a space to uh, to grow and to relax it's a stress reliever um, when you're learning an instrument you're playing an instrument a lot of students feel comfortable in the arts classes 
Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Before you continue, there was another one that said, "Do you have some parents, outsiders, who think you should focus more on core curriculum and less on art? If so, how do you overcome those challenges?" That's a great question. We have um, a lot of parents, especially in vulnerable communities, and here in Chicago, we service a vulnerable community here on the Southwest side. So what we do is, it's, it's interesting, right? Because the students will buy into it immediately because they understand that in order to succeed, hey, guess what? You have to make mistakes, congratulations. In the arts, we celebrate mistakes because guess what? You have to revise. You go back and revise and then you connect and then continue and you're always striving for that next best performance. And then that's where the creativity kicks in. So with the students, we start there. And then when the parents come to watch them, oh, it just blows their minds apart. And that's what we want. And everybody, including the whole community, is celebrated. And just adding on what Melinda says, a, a music classroom at Curie, it's a safe space to make mistakes. And once again, uh, we are a performance art school, and when the parents come and they see their students, they're amazed at the level of the performance that we just aspire to. And we're, we're, we're a work in progress, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, and, and also to add on that, um, the mistakes are greatly accepted in our classes. We, we encourage that. That's the best way for students to learn. You have to make mistakes to learn, especially in the arts. Um, so we grade a lot differently in our classes than we would in a normal class, giving, it's all about working towards mastery and repeating and keep fixing and, and analyzing and keep on building upon what your, your skill is and what you want to achieve in each arts class. I think we're good. Uh, we're done with the questions, so I'm going to cut to... Well, thank you for joining us today. We want to leave you with five key takeaways. We here at Curie High School broaden the health and wellness of our students by celebrating artistic abilities and creativity, embracing visions for learning and development, using mistakes as opportunities for learning, as we've said, expanding learning time with families, and promoting healing through the arts by seeing the whole human being. I am Rashada Dewan, representing Curie High School, class of 99. Whoop, whoop. Thank you to our sponsors, T4 Education, students, teachers, and the entire educational community. Thank you so much for having us. Be well. Woo.